To ensure you get the absolute best employees every time you hire, there are three things that are critical to the process. One is thorough preparation prior to even starting the recruiting process. The second is to make sure that you screen all the applicants that respond to your recruiting efforts very, very thoroughly. And lastly, you want to make sure you interview the candidates that make it through the screening process effectively. Doing all these three things well will help you get the best possible candidate available at the time or employee available at the time. So we're going to spend some time on each of these three areas. So let's talk about pre-hire preparation first. So you want to make a dossier of the ideal employee for you. And it's going to vary by your needs. It's going to vary by job position. But all of these things need to be considered. One is experience. Do you need an experienced individual or can it be somebody that's brand new and you can train them the way you want? What are the basic talents and skills that are required to produce the results in the particular position that's going to be filled? Are there education requirements, whether it's formal education, a trade education, or some other sort of education that's going to contribute to their ability to work up to your standards? Any credentials? You need licensings or certificates, that sort of thing. What are their responsibilities? What are you going to expect them to do? What are the results that you want them to achieve while performing the duties of their job position? And lastly, are there characteristics? What are the attributes that make them up? I think everybody should be evaluated based on their character and their competency. So to take a look at people's character, it's about their honesty, their integrity, their openness. Their competency is what are they good at and what results have they produced. So these things should be considered in the pre-hire preparation and then thoroughly vetted out during the interview process. So that's half of the pre-hire preparation. The second half is, what are you going to offer these people when they come to work for you, when you find that best employee? One is compensation. So you got to take a look at the marketplace. What's the market offering people that are in the position that you're hiring for? Do you want to start them out a little bit low and increase them based on performance? Do you want to start them a little bit higher than market so you can get the right people? Whatever it happens to be, you've got to give thorough consideration to compensation and benefits. You know, there's health benefits and vacation and maybe uh, benefits for continuing education, whatever it happens to be. You also want to look at growth opportunities. This is very important to employees. If I come to work for you, what are my opportunities? What do I need to do to advance within your business so that I can, can continue moving up the ladder? Also, management style. How do you treat people when you're managing them? What do you have your managers do in the day-to-day process to make sure that the people they manage grow as individuals and achieve both professional and business goals while they're contributing to the success of your business? What kind of a work environment do you have? Is it a cubicle-based pretty formal work environment? Is it a more relaxed walk around, do what you want as long as you get your work done environment? And also that kind of goes over into culture. So you have to consider all of those things and they have to be considered thoroughly. And it's not the easiest process, but once you do it the first time, it gets a lot easier. So when you have all of these categories completely filled out and you're satisfied that you haven't missed anything, then you want to put the information you got together so that you can create information pieces, one perhaps for advertising, if you're going to do on-site or in the newspaper, or excuse me, online or in the newspaper. One to spread out through your business and personal networks. One to use for temp agencies and for recruiting firms. But you want to make sure that the temp agencies and recruiting firms fully understand all the criteria that you have for the people that you want to hire. So the next thing we're going to do is take a look at screening these applicants. 